our problem is, is this uneven grain moisture. Okay? Got really dry grain on the bottom, about right in the middle, wet on the top. Okay? How do we counteract this? Okay? So we're looking for that magic 15% for yellow form. Okay? Uniform MC all the way through. Okay? So how do we do that? Doing this is a function of moisture and temperature. And I'm going to come back to this several times. Moisture and temperature. Okay, so how does moisture play into it? Humidity. Running fans with low humidity is going to shrink grain. High humidity, you're going to add too much moisture to that bin. Okay, so too low, too high. So what we're looking to do, run right in this region right here. Okay, we get to that lower humidity. Any grain type is going to be too dry for what you're trying to do. Higher humidity, obviously, you're going to be adding too much moisture. Okay? The other thing that plays in, remember, on this, is going to be temperature. Okay? Remember, it's a function of moisture and temperature. So, if we have these wide outside temperature swings, we can create condensation. And how I look at it, cold glass of water. Hot outside, condensed. Okay? So, those temperature differentials, that's where we can get that possibility of condensation. Okay, this is going to be a good springtime example. So we've got cold grain inside. Okay, 35 degree grain just came out of the winter. Spring, 65 degree day. Okay, this is an environment where we're going to see a possibility of condensation. Okay, that warm air outside, cool grain inside, it's going to sweat. Right, condensation, roof drip. I'm going to try to avoid that cold glass of water. So when we're changing that grain temperature, spring and summer, it's important to remember we also need to make that change throughout the entire grain mass. Finish it, not just one level. Okay, if we don't make that change, that's where we have potential condensation in the middle level. Okay? Okay, crust, bridge, whatever you want to call it, form in the center of the bin from condensation. Okay? In this example, 45 degrees in the bottom, 35 in the top. Right in the middle is where we're going to have that condensation layer. Okay. The other issue that comes into play is moisture migration. So it's important. The first thing you want to remember is that warmer air rises, cooler air sinks. So in this situation, fall. So we came into the field or came out of the field with warm grain. Okay, it's colder outside. Cold air sinks, forces that warmer air in the grain up. So every grain has its own moisture holding capacity. Okay, it holds moisture to a certain extent. Warmer it is, the more moisture it's going to hold. Colder it, is, colder it gets, it loses moisture. So as that, with it, as it force, gets forced up and that warmer air gets to the top, gets in this level right here, it cools off, loses its moisture holding capacity. Dumps all the water right in the center. Okay, so when it gets colder, it's going to dump that moisture right on the top. So that's where you're going to have your quality issue there. Next scenario, you're going to be looking, this is a springtime example. Okay, you've got cold grain in the middle, got warmer air on the outside. Okay, warm air rises, cool air sinks. As that sinks down, it's going to lose its moisture holding capacity, drop it right in the center, plug your song. Okay? So now imagine moisture migration with a big core finds in the middle. Okay, you can't get air to it. You're having moisture migration. You couldn't change the temperature inside there. That's what happens. This is what this producer had to deal with. Moisture migration plus a big, core, big tower of fines, big core of fines in the center ends up to a huge safety quality concern. Okay, you can see you also had condensation issues from the side, okay, just like what we talked about. So how do we stop the moisture migration? How do we deal with condensation? How do we work through all these issues? We have to aerate that grain mass. Get it to a uniform temperature. Because it's a function of moisture and temperature, right? Why do we worry about this? The reason we do, shelf life. Okay? If we look at our, both our moisture and our temperature, that determines the grain's shelf life. So you look, corn stored at 22% moisture, 60, at 60 degrees, has a shelf life of 17 days. 15 and a half and 50 degrees, 450 days. 
this is why we look at moisture and temperature. Shelf life. We want to be able to store it for as long as we can. Okay, keep it in the condition we want it to be in. So here's our two values. 15 and a half, we have uh, percent moisture content on top, temperature on the left. So this is grain temperature. So 15 and a half, 50 degrees, 450 days, 22, 60, 17 days. Now let's say you did this. You're out here, you filled your bin all the way up 30 foot high. You're gonna have some problems. So situation like this, I'm not saying you can't put 25% of the bin, but just have reasonable expectations about what's gonna happen and write the proper depth, proper grain depth as well. So if you CFM correctly, you want to go under 20 foot, you can deal with something like this in this area. We can get it down in here, but you gotta remember management decisions. Dry load store, one eight five five, and we dry.